This is usually a coordination issue. Your brain hasn't yet processed the idea of pushing the clutch and moving the shifter at the same time. That's okay, try not to become frustrated. If you push the clutch in two times before you try to shift, you'll have a hard time moving the shifter to neutral. The proper way to double clutch is to depress the clutch pedal while moving the shifter. Your left leg and right hand should move at the same time. To help with your coordination, you can perform the same time drill in a stationary truck or any chair. When you're shifting, it's best to keep your hand on the shifter. Some students will shift to neutral and then briefly remove their hand from the shifter before trying to shift to their next gear. If you remove your hand, you'll have to put it back on the shifter and that will slow down your shift. If you shift too slow, the needle falls below the sweet spot and you have to rev the engine. Control the shifter during the shifting process, but try not to muscle it. You need to locate the hard walls and the soft wall while you're learning. Controlling the shifter while shifting will help you find your next gear. You'll probably lose points on the driving part of the CDL skills test if you keep your hand on the shifter when you aren't shifting. This is a car habit. The tester will expect you to use two hands for every turn. If you have one hand on the shifter while the vehicle is turning, you must be palming the steering wheel. Try to break this habit early in your training. Most professional truck drivers palm the wheel and shift through their turns. Just don't do it while you're in school or during your test. You'll likely be penalized. Throwing the shifter around in neutral can be confusing to students. This is another car habit that doesn't translate to trucks. When you're learning how to shift, you'll want to establish a rhythm or timing for every shift. If you clutch to neutral and then throw the shifter around, the needle is falling out of the sweet spot. When you miss your gear, you'll have to rev the engine to find it. Instead of throwing the shifter around in neutral, find the wall that's associated with your next gear and then move the shifter into that gear. The walls provide a path to the gears. 